Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Easy to Learn. In my previous session, I explained about RF and microwave amplifier design based on complex conjugate matching approach. So in this session, we will see how that overall gain of that amplifier can be improved by using different matching approach. Now, this is the two port network model diagram for that RF and microwave amplifier that I showed in my previous videos. Okay, so that two port network is described by S parameter and in the RF and microwave amplifier order characteristic semblance in Abdina as that not this that not we are considering as the real quantity. Now that is connected with the source side and a source signal now we are going to amplify with the source embedded that is and the output from the port is connected to the load side with that uh, load embedded that all. and apart from this gamma is represent reflection coefficient looking towards the source side gamma in represent reflection coefficient towards the input side of the network and gamma out represent reflection coefficient looking towards the output side of the network and gamma will represent reflection coefficient looking towards the load side now based on this approach that means that complex conjugate approach what's the overall gain of the amplifier circuit is gain of the formula and output divided by input output wire we are getting from the load side right and wire the input the source side that means power delivered to the load pl divided by power available from the source that is pavs will give the overall gain of this circuit or the overall transducer gain and the formula for that gain is mode of s2 on the whole square end 1 minus mode of gamma l the whole square end 1 minus mode of gamma is the whole square divided by mode of 1 minus gamma s gamma in the whole square end mode of 1 minus s2 to gamma l the whole square now see this formula all the factors which are that means the load as well as the source factor depend on the source embedded zatas and zatal okay so suppose ningeda rf and microwave amplifier design pandringa abdina you have to know about the source embedded and the load embedded so what exactly the value then only you can design that amplifier for getting whatever required gain okay so this is one of the approach now based on this the gain formula is simplified as g0 and the gs and the gl g0 represent i will show you now see this a two port network no this is our amplifier right port one suppose the wave is incident port two as what our output that means the parameter is what s21 this is the gain of the two port network okay so that is represented as G0 which is equal to mod of S21 the whole square and apart from this source side gain also there as well as the load gain also there so that is represented as GS and GL GS formula is 1 minus mod of gamma is the whole square divided by 1 minus gamma is gamma in the whole square similarly GL equal to 1 minus mod of gamma L the whole square divided by mod of 1 minus S2 to gamma L the whole square now I will show you the simple approach okay for improving this gain now the simple approach what they are doing the same two port network model based on that transistor base no so that is connected with an input matching circuit and output matching circuit for improving the source gain as well as the load gain okay so what they are doing by using that input matching circuit the source impedance is uh, tuned to that not okay that means and the complex value we remove it we are considering that is equal to z naught similarly that will equal to z naught by output matching circuit okay so based on this condition all the characteristics and impedance of this whole circuit is z naught now what is happening in the overall gain of this model i will tell you the simple matching approach now what's the value we consider is that is equal to z naught okay so that will equal to z naught so based on that gamma s that is reflection coefficient looking towards the source side the formula is that is minus z naught divided by that is plus z naught when i'm substituting the value i will get zero parallelly gamma l that means reflection coefficient looking towards the load side so the value is that will minus that naught divided by that will plus that naught that will also z naught no so when i'm substituting there also i will get zero the meaning by using this simple matching approach training i won't get any any i mean i won't get any reflection from the source as well as the load side 
so this is the advantage in the simple matching approach so suppose if you want to cut if you are designing an amplifier by removing that source and reflection uh, coefficient from load side also means you can go this approach okay so based on this the overall gain we are getting as mode of s2 on the whole square now i will tell you how we are getting now see this uh, formula g naught what's the value of mode of s2 on the whole square and this is independent of gamma s as well as gamma l so this value will present what about gs value 1 minus gamma s term is there no what's the value for gamma s that is 0 so based on this values gs will be you will get 1 similarly gl check it gamma l what's the value 0 so based on this approach also i will get 1 so the overall transducer gain or the overall gain of that amplifier circuit gt equal to i will get what g naught that means the answer is mode of s2 on the whole square a question la ungal gmc question la by simple matching approach what the maximum gain if they are asking you have to click the option mode of s2 on the whole square this is one way approach now i will tell you the second case that is if a transistor is unilateral in a transistor ingrade enna abadina nama rf and microwave amplifier design based on what model transistor nu nama consider panirukom so and the transistor if it is a unilateral one when we consider like this unilateral la meaning enna na power flow in one direction adavadhu so ipo nama transistor two port network model eppadi we consider pannom port 1 acts as an act as an incident wave and port 2 acts as an output wave right or the reflection portion the meaning is what the gain is what s21 right so suppose s12 s12 also there but when we consider transistor as an unilateral one that s12 is approximately zero or very small enough to negligible the value the meaning is if port 1 instead of port 2 as an reflection but in unilateral case we can't choose as port 2 as an instant one and port 1 as like a uh, output either one any one case we have to choose so we choose port 1 as an instant and port 2 as an outputs therefore s21 present s12 is absent by using this approach the gamma in reflection coefficient looking towards the input side of the network is equal to s11 plus the remaining terms are there s12 s21 but when i am substituting this condition for s12 this term will be cancel and i will get gamma in equal to s11 similarly gamma out i am having the formula is s22 plus the remaining s12 s21 terms so when i am substituting that s12 condition here that term also cancel and i will get gamma out equal to s22 okay so based on these two values gamma in and gamma out the overall transistor gain that means unilateral transducer gain gtu is represented as gs into g not into gl and of course we familiar g not what's the value mode of s2 on the whole square so that is independent so definitely it will present and gl what's the value there gamma l and s2 and gamma l present so that also keep it as same but compared to the source side now see this the source term consists of gamma s as well as gamma in term when i am substituting gamma in equal to s11 that formula is replaced as 1 minus mod of gamma s the whole square divided by mod of 1 minus gamma s s11 the whole square the meaning is now the source side is independent of the reflection coefficient from the network side now this is the biggest advantage in the unilateral model so what they are telling by when we consider the transistor as an unilateral gain we will get maximum gain so these are the two approach they are tried in microwave amplifier design now based on this the mcq questions are question number one the overall transducer gain is option a gt equal to gs plus g naught plus gl option b gt equal to gs into g naught into gl option c gt equal to gs minus g naught minus gl option d g naught gt equal to zero and i told you already the answer is gt equal to gs into g naught into gl now the second question is the gain provided by the input and output matching network gs and gl of the transducer may be greater than greater than evlo kadikala abdinu pathinga na that is 100 and 10 the options are 1 and 0 the answer is we will get greater than 1 the third question the condition for the matched transducer gain are option a gamma s equal to 0 option b gamma s equal to 1 and gamma l equal to 0 option c 
gamma s equal to 1 and option D gamma s equal to 0 and gamma L equal to 0. The question they are asking match the transducer gain. That is simple matching approach. What is the transducer gain? The condition. The answer I already explained gamma s equal to 0 and gamma L equal to 0. Now the fourth question the gain of matched transducer gain is that is GTM mod of S2 and the whole square S1 to mod of S1 and the whole square and mod of S2 to the whole square and I already explained the answer is what mod of S2 and the whole square. Now the fifth question S parameters of a GAS MOSFET is given the reference impedance is 50 ohm and the find GTM. All the S11, S12, S21 and S22 values are provided with polar form. Okay, but the question what they are asking, they are asking to find simple matching approach again. Now the answer options are 0 0.144 decibel, 0 0.11 and 10.88 decibel and the last option is 12.30 and the answer I am getting is 10.88 decibel I will tell you how we are getting but before going to that I told you, you know the GTM formula is what mod of S2 and the whole square. Appa inge S11, S12, S22 kutthirukna only for confusing you ok. So what you have to consider as GTM nala inge consider pane vene only S21. Formula enna mod of S2 and the whole square. Edhika ha mod value na say this S21 value is present in polar form. Appa mod value edukkum odhu you have to consider only the real quantity don't bother about the angle. So the procedure is the transducer gain is mod of S2 and the whole square which is equal to 3.50 the whole square and the value is 12.25 but this is a simple matching approach no so as well as we are calculating the gain so we have to represent the value in decibel so the answer is 10 log 12.25 when you are putting this formula I will get 10.88 decibel now the sixth question what does unilateral transducer mean unilateral transducer na meaning in that the options are power flow in one direction power flow in both direction no power flow and infinite power flow and I told you, you know the answer is unilateral only one direction so the answer is power flow in one direction now the seventh question the unilateral power gain condition is option A uh, mode of S1 to equal to 0 option B mode of S2 1 equal to 0 option C mode of S1 1 equal to 0 and option D mode of S2 2 equal to 0 here they are asking unilateral power gain condition of Dina one direction what is option S1 2 the mean answer is mode of S1 2 equal to 0 now the eighth question the condition for maximum unilateral transducer power gain is the options are gamma S equal to S complex conjugate of 1 1 gamma L equal to S complex conjugate of 2 2 and uh, 1 or the option D gamma is equal to S complex conjugate of 1 1 and gamma L equal to S complex conjugate of 2 2. See this case it is a unilateral one ok. So unilateral na ipo nama vandhu z s equal to z naught or z l equal to z naught and the condition could be illa in the option illa. They are provided only based on complex conjugate matching approach. Appa complex conjugate matching na you have to consider source as well as the load side. Therefore the answer is option D gamma s equal to s complex conjugate of 1 1 and gamma l equal to s complex conjugate of 2 2. Now the ninth question in unilateral transducer power gain gamma n is given by uh, S11, S1222 two, two, and uh, S21 all the options are there and I told you gamma n what we are getting S11 is the answer. Similarly in the 10th question they are asking in unilateral transducer power gain what is the gamma out value? Options are S11 and S22 and S12 and S21. I already explained in my previous slides uh, gamma out equal to S22 plus S12, S2, oh, 2, like the formula will come when I am substituting unilateral condition is what S1 equal to 0 I will get gamma out equal to S22. So the answer is S22. I hope everyone liked this video. If you like kindly share my channel. Thank you so much for watching.